Welcome back to Steve Solves Tech. Today we're going to install an SSL certificate on VMware ESXi. With the server in maintenance mode, let's go to Manage. Security and Users. Certificates. At this point, it's important that you've already got the correct certificate, uh, correct URL at the top here. You will have had to set up your DNS in your network already and be logged in with a URL that uh, we can make a certificate for. Now, just one thing to take note of, a lot of local networks might have a suffix of like dot local or dot lan you can't actually get certificates for those um, from a trusted third party a certificate provider so i tend to set up my networks with an actual valid domain name uh, and only use it internally um, sometimes externally but mostly for the internal uh, network use uh, it's good to get something short. You know, you can often use a .NET. In this case, of using a .au uh, it gives me a nice short local domain uh, and allows me to purchase certificates to apply to it. So let's go here. Import a new certificate. We're going to generate a fully qualified domain name signing request. So we need to now save this to a, say, a text file, and we'll use it in the next step as we purchase our SSL certificate. The next step is to purchase the SSL certificate. You'll find a link to this site in the description. So let's click personal. We're going to use a positive SSL certificate and we're going to use the try free option. This will give us one month of free trial. We'll have a certificate that we can use on our site, test it out, try it, before we need to buy. If we then want to continue, we can purchase it at that time. So let's go try free. And drop it to one. Obviously it makes the price a bit higher because you're not using bulk discount. If you want to have a five year certificate at a very good rate, you can choose that as well. Let's go to checkout. So now you can enter your email address. Fill out your details, whether you want to be included in a mailing list. Once you've clicked the payment button, you'll end up here. So next step, we want to activate our positive SSL certificate. So let's click activate. You'll notice here that certificates, even if you buy a multi-year certificate, you will have to reactivate it every year. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, it's a good thing. Uh, doesn't let old certificates uh, lie around out in the wild. We'll go, don't show that again. So this is where we put in the URL of our ESXi server. 
So in this case, I had esxi.sstech.au. Onwards. Now, earlier we created that CSR, if you remember. So we'll use this option here. Go back to the text file we created earlier. This one. Copy this text. Paste it in here. Onwards. Now we have to verify we have permission to use this domain. So we have some email options. So we can send an, uh, we can get this site to send us an email. Uh, once we click on that, it's verified, says yes, we own this domain. We can also upload a file to a website if the URL has a website. In this case, we don't. We can also create a DNS record uh, it'll generate a CNAME record we can put into our DNS. In this case, we'll just opt for the email option. I like to use Hostmaster because it's easy to set up a mailbox, especially for Hostmaster, and manage all your certificate-related um, emails through that. Once we've done this, we can just simply submit. It's going to send us an email. So now it's waiting for us to verify the email. So this is what the email looks like. We've got a click here to validate. So let's click here wants us to now paste the code that we that was in the email. Let's do that. Next. And done. Now back at our certificate site, we can go confirm code pasted. And it says done. It's now creating the SSL certificate for us, and that will arrive in our email. So here it is. Here's our certificate. So let's save that and get ready to install it back on our ESXi server. So we're back now at our ESXi server and we've saved our certificate and unzipped it. So here it is, we'll see two files here. Now, we'll want to open each one of these, we have to paste both of these. So we'll start with the CRT file. Let's just open it in Notepad. And let's open this one, also in Notepad. Select all, and copy. Let's paste it into this one. Let's select all and copy. Go to our ESXi, paste it into this box, and import. Click refresh and you'll now see our certificate issuer, Sectico. It's valid from and to, and you'll see our subject matches our server. So 
So let's see if it worked. Open a fresh browser, browser window. You may find that using your existing one, it's cached um, and you won't see the certificate straight away. So start with, say, a guest window or incognito. Let's test it. And there we have it. Nice secure lock. We're now protected by an SSL certificate. We can view our certificate here. Let's us know all about it. Now remember, if you registered this as a trial, it will expire in one month. You'll need to go back to your account and uh, at the SSL site and extend it, delete it, renew it, whatever you like. So I hope you enjoyed that video and you found it helpful. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There'll be a lot more videos coming your way real soon. Catch you next time.